Home security doesn't have to be expensive. In fact, you might have all the gear you need sitting in your desk drawer. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an old phone into a security camera for free. Have you been considering installing a security camera in your home? Maybe you want to see who's ringing your bell before you answer your door. Keep an eye out for intruders. Or even set up a baby monitor. There are plenty of security systems out there, from inexpensive to rather spendy. Some, like the Ring Doorbell, as shown here by our own Megan Wollerton, can be a little complicated to install too. But if you have an old phone laying around and the camera still turns on, using it as a security camera is a great way to save some money. I happen to have a couple of phones that we've broken doing drop tests for Cena. The glass is in pretty bad shape on both of these, but the cameras still work just fine. This Note 20 Ultra is shattered, but with its case on it, it's as good as new. These phones happen to be fairly current models, but you can use an older phone just as easily. And I'm going to show you how to use a mix of iOS and Android devices as well. The first thing you want to do is pick a security camera app for your phone. There are a lot of options out there, including apps from ManyThing, Salient Eye, and Presence. They are all solid free choices with an affordable subscription model if you need more features. And IP Webcam is one of the more popular Android-only options. But today we're going to use an app called Alfred. It's cross-platform, so it doesn't matter if your old phone was an Android phone or an iPhone. And the same goes for your new phone. You can also monitor everything from a web browser. Alfred is free to use and gives you a remote view of your live feed, motion detection with alerts, free cloud storage, a two-way audio feed, and use of both the front and rear cameras. To unlock additional features like high-resolution viewing and recording, zoom capabilities, ad removal, and 30-day cloud storage, you can upgrade to Alfred Premium. To get started, I'm going to download Alfred on my regular phone that I use every day. In this case, my Pixel 3a. This will be the phone you use to view all the rest. Then I'll download the app on all these broken phones and this perfectly good iPhone, just as examples. On the new phone, sign in with your Google account credentials. Once you get here, make sure the phone is set to viewer, not camera. On the old phones, you can sign in using your Google account, but instead of selecting viewer, select camera or scan the QR code on the viewer phone to link the devices. Alfred has simplified the camera options to include only a few settings. On iOS, you can choose between the front and rear camera, turn audio on and off, or pause motion detection when you're moving the phone. If you're using an Android device, you have those options, and you can also enable continuous focus, have Alfred automatically reopen if the phone reboots, and enable a passcode lock. From your new phone, you can change a few more settings, including adding other people to your trust circle, which grants other people access to your video feeds. If you turn on motion detection, the remote phone will make a recording whenever something moves in front of the camera. When that happens, you can also be alerted on the viewer phone to see that recording or view the live feed. Once you have the stream up and running, you'll need to set up and position the camera or cameras. You may want it focused on the main entry point to your home, your backyard, the place where you store valuables, or a point that you think might be particularly vulnerable. Okay, no. You can also set up a remote camera as a baby monitor. When you pick out your spots, you'll have to figure out how to mount the phones. A small smartphone tripod or suction cup car mount can work wonders and help you position the camera in an inconspicuous place. To broaden the field of view, consider buying a wide-angle lens for your phone. You can find them between $5 and $20 online. Once the security phones are mounted, be sure to put Alfred into power saving mode to lock and dim the screen. But since the phone will be on 24-7, to keep the phone from dying in the first few hours, you'll need to position it close to a power source and keep it plugged in. A 10-foot USB or lightning cable will give you more flexibility in where you put it. Now that you're all set up, you can use your phone to monitor all your cameras, or pull them up on your computer to take a look. If you see anything interesting, you can hit record to capture the action. Press the mic button to make an announcement through the remote camera. Hey, get out of those bushes. Or even press the siren button to trigger a loud alarm to scare away any pests or intruders. Okay, that's it for today. 
Hopefully you're set up to feel more secure in your homes, and we've kept a few more phones out of the landfill. Be sure to subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more videos like this.